Hello, YouTube community, and welcome to another episode of Aaron's Book Club. I do have a review for you guys um, called Kaya's Journey. Um, it's the New World Chronicles. I mean, you know what? I it, it was one of those free ones from Good Goodreads. It was actually the first free one that I ever won. Um, so I was looking forward to this one forever. It seemed to take forever to get. Um, and then when I read the back of it, it it sounded kind of intriguing. Um, let's see. Kaya's journey is a story about a young man set seven years in the future. Kaya has spent those years fighting for survival and trying to find a way to rid the world of the disease his father created. His father was a military scientist charged with the tasks of perfecting a formula, formula that he would create a superior breed of soldiers. His father accidentally created a race of zombies. Like a virus, it soon spread to the entire world, unleashing a period of unsurpassed chaos and conflict. In the midst of this turmoil, our young man comes across a young woman named Clover, who was part of a clan traveling across the United States to try to find what is left of humanity. Clover is part of a clan of werewolves who can turn at will but aren't bloodthirsty savages as depicted in general history. Along the way, they come across stragglers who join the group as the as they journey across the upper part of what used to be known as North America. One night, while Kyle and Clover were watching a meteor shower, they meet a group of to a group totally out of this world. Kai and Clover began the heroic journey, fueled by increasingly dim hope that somehow the human race will have a chance to start over. So this book, <laughs> this book has um, werewolves, it has zombies, it has aliens that ended up being dragons. <laughs> and when I started reading this, um, now I came from the book Persuasion by Jane Austen, and reading Persuasion and all that fluffy language to this was was quite funny, and it really pointed out the um, the target audience was much younger than mine, uh, were much younger than me, um, so that was really blaringly obvious after reading Persuasion. And it was funny because when I first started it, I started reading it saying, thinking, well, there's no way that this can be anything other than a child's book that really is just a bunch of dribble because you can't combine those three things and still make it a good book. Guess what? You can. Um, I flew through this book. Um, I, I actually started trying to put it down because I didn't want it to be over as quickly as it was going to be. Um, the the dragons are, are very realistic and their their depth of character is amazing and even in the short time that they're in the book the character development of the dragons is stunning um, the development of Kai is, is still a little bit wanting I didn't I didn't like how his character was very slow to grow up um, compared to, to his his quote unquote mate clover who grew up really quick um, but the interaction between the two was fascinating. The way that the author was able to use these zombies and create a zom like a terrifying zombie apocalyptic uh, world without all that blood and gore, um, without um, blatant sexuality. It was it was very uh, I don't I don't even know what the right word. I don't want to say naive, but the the love was very pure. It wasn't a sexual love, and the concept throughout the book was was absolutely amazing um, this is a very good palate cleanser if you're reading heavy books um, and you need something quick to get your confidence back up if it's taking you long like if I am reading a, a many page book and it's taking me forever to do so and it's like wow I suck at reading read this one you won't suck anymore um, all you guys who get your reader slump which thank God knock on wood I haven't had yet Something like this would pull you out of a reader slump, no problem. Um, my only fault here that I, I don't like about the book um, is throughout the book the the persona is changed or the it changes from first por person point of view to um, third por person point of view and it can do that in the same sentence and that was kind of very frustrating because it would have sentences like we can continue to walk along and then she put her hand in mine. like. It was just really weird because it would flip flop between the two. Um, there was one or two spelling mistakes, not a big deal. 
But the thing that really got me, yes, Pill, I'm, I'm telling them, Pill, I know. The thing that really got me was the the book. The book needs a sequel. I, I need I need the other one, and I need the other one right now because it doesn't end like end. <laughs> the 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 crisis is narrowly averted. We think, but we don't know for sure. There, there's a reaction, but we don't know. I, I need to know what happens to Kai um, because again, I'm not going to spoil it. So I need to keep this modern. I love you too, darling, but something happens to Kai and I want to make sure that he's okay. Now I think he's okay by the end of the book, but I don't know. I, I want more of these. So, um, let's see here. Charles Stefan, Stefkin and Wendy Stefkin. Um, get writing. I, I want more. I want more now, now, right now. Um, so this book I'm going to put into my good re good reads review. You guys can see that online. I, I really think it's a good book. I think you guys should buy it. Um, or at least read it for a fun read. Um, so, I hadn't gotten any more freebies in the mail, so now I can switch to my Equus magazine because that has to get read because it's a more time pertinent thing. Um, once I'm done that, I've got my old books that I set aside depending on what I get in the mail. But thank you guys so much for listening to me rambling and, and listening to, to my cat apparently rambling. <laughs> um, she's 19, you gotta kinda give her a little bit of leeway. Um, I guess that's all I have to say, and I will talk to you when I have another book read. Keep on reading, guys.